ever wondered what an elite runner eats all day? Well, you're gonna find out. I'm gonna take you through today, which is Friday. I've got a workout. I'm gonna show you every single thing that I eat throughout the day. It's a normal day of eating, if you like, but also there's no such thing as a typical day. I eat something different every single day and I'm actually going out for lunch after my session today. So come along for the ride and I'll talk you through what I'm consuming and why? What more could you possibly want in the morning than chicken and turkey fillets and gravy? So I always have one of these sachets of cat food before I eat my breakfast because I need to get more protein. <laughs> oh Christ alive. Oh, 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 oh. Nearly just cried because I thought that this was the only supply of oats I had left. But we have been prepared for once. Babies. R.I.P. my teeth. And then, the most controversial part of all. More milk, baby! Just pretend that's not there. What does the weather hold in store for us today? Let's have a look. sesh that is unknown, I don't know what I'm doing, but there's an element of surprise there and we like that sometimes. This week's been a bit choppy and changey, so just find out the assignment when I get there. <laughs> Whoa! Magic. A few moments later. Straight after the sesh, super important to get that fuel in within that 20 minute window. I had one of these delicious Yummo's bars Huge shout out to Yummo's for sponsoring this video. More about that later. This choc caramel bar went straight down the hatch. Well, that was a delightfully delicious post-session brunch. Had a very nice chicken milanese. Chicken milanese. Chicken milanese? Chicken milanese. Very tasty, like a little chicken schnitzel with a cucumber, onion, sort of salad with a bit of dressing on, and an avocado salsa, which as far as I could see was just avocado with sweet corn mixed in, but very tasty regardless. Doesn't get much better than that for a post sesh brunch. Sesh was good, had a four mile high steady today, mostly on my own. The rest of the girls are racing this weekend on the team. Just had Helen on the bike and uh, Adam doing a little progression, quite a bit faster than me. But yeah, stuck at about, I don't know, six minute miling, maybe, maybe a bit faster. I think I snuck into tempo a little bit just cause got excited got into a good rhythm. Been a good few days of training. Had my first session back on Wednesday, so second session of the week. And yeah, I feel like I'm ticking over nicely, settling in. It's just so good to be here in this kind of pro setup. I'll be training in the morning, actually seeing my coach. I'm really enjoying it so far. Gonna now head home, go get some groceries on the way, probably go to Asda, maybe Sainsbury's. But I will do a little supermarché haul and let you know all of the schnackles and the tasty foodies that i am buying for the rest of the week so although the short hair is easier to manage i think it's a little bit um voluminous having had it in a little mini top bun thing and a headband for the session it's uh yeah it's doing its own thing now we'll roll with it perhaps if i tie it back a little bit it will I don't know. Calm down a bit. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my cooking show. I will talk you through all of the foods I will be cooking with for the next few days. First up we got the essential Robinson's Real Fruit Squash. 20% fruit. There you go. Holy moly, bananas. 
this little guy was getting a little bit lonely, so bought a little family to top up banana storage. Courgettes that really should not be in a plastic wrap. This is not for me. This is Daniel's coffee. Brazilian roast and ground. These are going straight in the freezer. Love Hearts fruit flavor ice lollies. If you see these and haven't tried them, try them because they're a fizzy ice lolly sensation. They're amazing. Microwave rice. We did not have microwave in our last house. We did not have room in the kitchen. So now we have convenient rice. And this one is not for me because it's spicy. I tell you what, if we get 25K views on this video, I will have a single spoonful of this rice and I probably will cry and drink about a pint of milk because I really, 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 really don't like spicy food. We've got the decaf coffee because we're wild and don't drink caffeine past 2 p.m. Innocent smoothie, usually these are really expensive, but it was £1.49. Tangy and juicy sweet clams. Creme fraiche, full fat, can't beat it. Cook with it all the time, delicioso. Nutella, need I say more. Some salted butter. Two crisp, lightly dusted bassa fillets. For fish and chips night. Some Italian style meatballs. Rich and tender, and it wouldn't be a little mini food shop without at least two avocados because avocado brunch. And also, I got this bad boy. We needed a dustpan and brush, so I bought this one. So yeah, that's that's the haul. That's the food shop. Um, probably a good time to say I'm not a nutritionist. This is not my weekly food shop. These are not the only foods I eat. This is a little top up shop. This is just what we needed to stock up on and what I fancied to buy today. So there you go. Now I'm gonna go and eat all of it. Are you hungry? Are you in need of a high protein, vegan, low sugar, tasty snack? Wait, are you actually vegan? Okay. Well, do I have a treat for you. Throw away your tired, long, homemade protein bar recipes that only make dry, tasteless cardboard snacks and enter Yummos. From the team that already makes some glorious plant-powered protein cereal, we have ourselves some protein bars. They've got that soft, gooey deliciousness you want from your tea time snacks packed with a powerful 15 grams of protein and they're totally vegan. They're available in two delicious flavors. We've got the soft and gooey chocolate caramel and a tasty little white chocolate and raspberry number. And right now you can get 30%, yes, 30% off your first order using my exclusive code, which can be seen on screen right now. Follow the link in the description of this video to get your hands on the tastiest vegan protein bars you have ever laid your taste buds on. Back to the snacks. Snack time. I'm gonna make myself a little yogi bowl because it's getting on to three o'clock and I'm starving. I think that plate was lovely earlier, but she wasn't enough of it. I'm gonna have a big old yolk bowl. So this stuff is skier. The thickness of this stuff is just, mm. you know, it's the good yog when you read it and it says ingredients, skier yogurt from skimmed milk. That's it. Nothing else. No added sugar, no added nothing. Just yog. Another thing we should have got at the shop. Granola. What do you do when you don't have granola? Welcome in granola's less attractive, less fun step sibling, Moseley. She, uh, she tries her best, but she's just not as good as granola. Put a little bit of that on top for a little bit of texture. I like my snacks sweet. Got a banana. And then prunes. Best way to chop up prunes or dates, just chop them up with a pair of scissors. And you know, if you're a runner who happens to not already have explosive bowel movements, just add some prunes into your diet. Little bit blocked up. Get some prunes down, yeah. If you don't need them for that reason, I would advise you to go easy on the prunes, speaking from experience. And then we add some freeze-dried, positivity-infused 
dried raspberries. And that, that is a meal I would pay good money for. Well, it's not a meal, is it? It's a snack. And all the, all the scare stuck to my spoon. Yep, we went to Ikea for dinner. We did actually need to get a few things from Ikea for the house, so it would be rude not to go and have dinner at Ikea, in my opinion. If you are physically capable of going to Ikea and not having the meatballs, please let me know in the comment section below because I will be astonished. Actually had the mash with the 12 or 14 meatballs. Kind of regretted it, stole half of Daniel's chips, but peas, gravy, jam, a perfect meal, in my opinion. Delicious. So that was hell, but only for the last half an hour or so. When the store was closing, we couldn't find anything. We couldn't come home with the single thing we actually really needed to come to Ikea for, which was kitchen shelving. And they only had one of the shelves that we needed and they needed four to make the whole thing. And they're having 200 delivered next week. You don't care about this, but it was seriously stressful and we still somehow managed to spend 300 pounds <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness look at this big strong handsome man <laughs> well i had genuinely forgotten that this is a what i eat in a day video <laughs> because it's been a bit of a weird day ikea is one of those places that just transports you to somewhere else and it's magical and amazing and awful all in the same experience even the girl at the checkout said most people when they get to that point just need a lie down when they've finished the experience and they've been taken on three floors and they've walked four miles and they've found everything they need apart from the most essential bit that isn't in stock until next Wednesday and then you have to go back next week it was great, it was good. It's 10 to 10. Just got back, felt a little bit peckish. So had a couple of bites of the Oreo Blondie, which my stepmom got me. Nice little platter of cakes. Beaut. And I'm having a little tangerine before bed. And this little guy will be the last thing I eat today. If you're interested to see more of this kind of content, or want to see specific other days, like double days or long run days and what I eat on those days and how it differs, let me know. I mean, I just eat whatever I feel like eating most of the time. I'm obviously pretty laid back about it. Didn't used to be. Really glad that I am now. And uh, yeah, food is life. Food is fuel. Food is love. Love the grind. Bye.